Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a very special one for you. We're gonna go through the full hit and miss list top 10 brands at the drugstore, my absolute number one favorite item from each brand, and my least favorite item also from each brand. A lot of these items I've tried on in the past in front of you guys. Like we've hung out together and we've been like, whoa, no. Uh, and then other items I have used over and over and over. And I think it's interesting that, you know, throughout the years of being here on YouTube, which I have been here for nine <laughs> years now, which every time I say that, I'm like, oh my gosh, like that is like, that's a stretch of time, you know? And I have made over 2000 videos. I kind of lost count at this point because I've privated so many and along the way, like I went through this like crazy thing. I've mentioned this before where I was like, I hate Madness Monday, it's just not good enough. And I got rid of a bunch of videos. I really regret doing that, don't do that. Like love every phase of what you are becoming. Anyway, my love affair with drugstore makeup has been strong from the start. I always vowed to myself that if I was blessed enough to be able to call YouTube my career and I had more access to luxury items that I would never ever stop loving on the drugstore. And I've held that very true through my career here on YouTube. I hope you guys pick up on that. I try to keep things, you know, kind of 50-50. Anyway, long story short, I know my stuff when it comes to drugstore makeup. I've tried so, so much of it. I have a lot of research notes, videos where I have swatched, tried, played, tested, and just, you know, I never ignore the drugstore. It's always in rotation. So I feel like this is a really solid list and you guys are always asking about the drugstore. Number one request is drugstore makeup and I get it. You know, most of us can't afford like a $70 foundation. And I had been that girl more years of my life than I've been this woman, you know? So I get it. Anyway, I think these items compete, my favorite favorites, with any luxury item out there. And then the ones that are terrible are just like, ooh. When you get a crappy drugstore product, it's kind of like a double smack to the face, I think, because if you're looking to kind of like save a few bucks here or there, and to have the product not work is just like, ugh. Like, you know, so I wanna share with you which items to maybe avoid. Oh, my nails dry, I just painted my nails. Side note, I always do that. I'm really bad about timing. I paint my nails and then I'm like, weird, that gallon of water that I just drank is hitting me suddenly. Or I like sit down and I'm like, oh, I'll paint my nails. And then I'm like, you know what sounds good? Bag of chips. I think the first thing I wanna talk about is from Flower, no, from Hard Candy. <clears throat> ay, 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 ay. Uh, right. Also, I did do this video with luxury makeup. I will link that video below. Uh, check it out, it's kind of the same thing. Like if I could pick one very, very favorite and then one worst. And also I wanna remind you guys to subscribe and ring the bell while we're here, just kind of opening up this video. Okay, anyway, let's get started. <laughs> this is a terrible liquid eyeshadow. Isn't that rude that I'm saying that? I know, it's the Glitterazzi Liquid Sparkler from Hard Candy. Now, the problem with this is it will go on nicely, okay? You guys are gonna see this and you're gonna be like, Tati, just stop talking, it's beautiful. Um, the problem with this one is when it dries down, you're gonna itch. Uh, if you have sensitive eyes, your eyes might feel a little bit itchy and you know, sometimes that can happen even with certain magnificent metal shadows from Stila. So it's not even just a drugstore issue with a liquid metallic foiled shadow. But every single shade that I have tried from Hard Candy that is a liquid shadow that's like this, it always itches. And then if you so much as rub just even a tiny bit, it's like it flakes off, kind of like paint on a wall. Like, you know, the puffy ceilings that we don't have anymore because of asbestos. It's like that, you, it's so bad. And then you'll have like weird, like flakes on your face. I just think it's terrible. And I would highly recommend that you just find something else. A liquid shadow that I'm really, really loving you guys, um, not drugstore. Let me just, ha I have a lot to say about everything always. You guys know that. Um, but where did it go? 
I am mystified when I lose makeup that I was just using. Like, what? Anyway, insert clip of House Labs. I've been wearing that liquid shadow for a minute now and I think it is so long wearing, pigmented, the dry down's great, it doesn't flake off. It is so good, almost like it, better than Magnificent Metals. But I also really, really love Steel and Magnificent Metals. If you're going to the drugstore and you want a comparable liquid shadow, Flower makes a really beautiful one and Milani has some really gorgeous ones as well. This is just not as strong in pigmentation and it's just like, it just does a weird thing. Okay, so what I love from Hard Candy, they have these plumping glosses. I'm gonna crack into a brand new one. I'm trying this thing where I'm trying to be like slightly more, not frugal, but like not waste so much makeup. So I don't open everything like all at once, like if it's a slightly different shade. But the Hard Candy Serum Plumpers, these guys right here, I have put in a best of the year. I have put in different tutorials. I have loved on this product so hard and it is really good. It just has this nice shine to it. It's not overly stingy or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, it's not thick, but it makes your lips look ginormo. Right? It just has that extra little, just extra little something. And I love it. They have a lot of different colors. They have some that are just that clear gloss that's really juicy. They have some that are more uh, sparkly and have more dimension. And I highly recommend any of those. I think they're so, so good. All right, moving on to a little bit of Maybelline. My diehard favorite has got to be this guy right here. I think out of all of the drugstore highlights, it's just the best. I mean, there's, and the thing is, this is the shade that I like the best too. They have a more gold one. They've come out with holographic ones and purple ones and so many different ones. This is the Molten Rose Gold. And it's just so dreamy and beautiful. The only other brand that I can think of that would have highlights that I think are like neck and neck would be Physician's Formula. Those two, if you want a good highlighter from the drugstore, like that's where you wanna go. $10, done, little goes a long way. You can use it on the eyes, which I have this in the inner corner here on my eyes today. Gorgeous highlight, it wears well, it's not chunky. I've talked about it 5,000 bajillion million quadrillion times. They also have a concealer. I know I was gonna talk about one item. I, I'm already breaking the rules. Um, they have the Age Rewind Concealer, and that is beautiful for covering up dark circles. The thing that I like the least from Maybelline is actually have a tie because now all of a sudden I'm thinking about my sister using the brow chalk when I did the video where I pranked her. I will link that below. But also they have this like twist up foundation that looks like a giant version of the Age Rewind and Maybelline back in the day actually tweeted me and they're like, we're discontinuing it. Sorry you didn't like it. And they probably didn't say it that rude. For dramatic purposes, I'm gonna say that they did. Um, So <laughs> I saw it at Ulta the other day and I was like, really weird that they discontinued this and like a couple years later, like that display looks really fresh to me. I don't know. I just do not like that foundation at all. It is literally just texture upon your skin that won't blend. It's just not good. The concealer is the best ever. That foundation, not for me. Okay, moving right along, I want to jump into a little bit of Wet n Wild. I... Might get in an argument with my mom over this because she loves all of this stuff. But when I think of what I don't like from Wet n Wild, my mind immediately goes to all this kind of stuff. Um, this is just like the weirdest turn pink, but it's black thing. I, I can't stand this. And I think it turns into like a hot, hot pink situation. My mom can't get enough of it. I'll probably send this to her. She loves this. She thinks it's the perfect color for her. I think it's pretty neon. I don't know, I like. I love my mom to live her best life and what she likes with her aesthetic. And the Frog Prince one does look pretty nice on her. Um, I think this is kind of like the drugstore dupe, but I don't know, you guys, are you into like the mood, you know, pH, body heat, color changing stuff? I'm just so not into it. 
what I am into is this new powder and I'm like, oh my gosh, there are so many things from Wet n Wild that I have loved so much in the past, whether it is their cushion foundation or their photo focus foundation, uh, you know, their highlighters are amazing. And now they have a translucent powder, I'm wearing it today, that really competes with Cody Airspun. It's not scented like Cody Airspun and that one will just like slap you across the face several times with the fragrance. It's just like gonna follow you and like haunt you for a few hours, but. If I don't know you, you're going to voicemail. I can't wait for that iPhone update where it's like, if you don't know the number, it'll just save it in your missed calls and notify you at the end of the day. Please, thank you, God, I need that. Um, okay, where were we? Hot potato. This powder is so good. If you like Cody Airspun, if you like a pigmented, thicker, milled, but still fine, that will just minimize pores, is great for baking, doesn't look heavy on the face, this is very good and very affordable, and I really love it. So this is my hit from Wet n Wild. Let's go to CoverGirl right now, Advanced Radiance. I really wonder how many videos I have talked about this product in. I mean, I have recommended this to so many, you know, working makeup artists. I feel like it's a really great, heavily pigmented, but not chalky, brighter brightening powder. This comes in three shades. I use shade 110, and I love it. Um, the thing from CoverGirl that I have tried to love that I just cannot get into is this liner. Same thing, it kind of scratches off, chunks off, dries down matte and is really beautiful, but if you so much as bump your eye, you're gonna have like a bald spot and a flake on your face. So I'm gonna say that's, that's a pass for me, you know? Um, moving into L'Oreal, something that I love from L'Oreal is, drum roll please. This is my favorite. If I had to pick one, like one only, and I was like legit playing that game, it would be this. The Infallible Fresh Wear is so good. This is one of the few items out there with SPF that does not break me out. It feels so light on the skin. I'm wearing this as my foundation today and I love it. Um, but I also am wearing today, I'm just gonna shout this out. This is not my number one die hard, but I do really, really love this. This is the True Match Blush. The finish on these blushes, it's just, they're so underrated. I don't know why more people don't love on them because they're beautiful. Uh, and then of course, this old friend right here, Lash Paradise, cannot go wrong with that. Um, oh my gosh, why do I have like 5,000 things from L'Oreal that I'm like, and I love this and I love that. Um, where were the things that I didn't like from L'Oreal? <laughs> Guess I love it all. What did I not like from L'Oreal? I'm gonna say something very controversial right now, and it is that I don't like L'Oreal lipsticks, not because I don't appreciate the colors or the texture or the finishes, it's that the scent of them makes me lose my mind. Guys, I cannot stand the L'Oreal fragrance they use in their lipsticks specifically. I don't like it, not a fan. Moving on, I have a lipstick that I do love so, 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 so much from Flower Beauty. This is Drew Barrymore's line, and if you are looking for creamy, gorgeous, beautiful lipsticks at the drugstore, these are so nice. They just have the right texture, the right tone. I have said this so many times when I did like a huge lipstick declutter, the majority of what I kept was all flower beauty. This one right here is so super, super pretty. This is called Naked Blush. And I've said this before in past videos that I felt like they had a similar tone to a lot of Tom Ford lipsticks, which are like $50, and these are under 10. So I wanna give them like another little shout out. I also super, super love from Flower, um, they're, I already mentioned them, the cream shadows, the liquid shadows. They used to have cream shadows in like a little pot, and those were so good. Bring them back, like pr please bring them back. They're, they were so good. I have one that I've held onto that's like seven years old, ew. Anyway, moving on. Let's talk about Essence. What a disaster skin day it was for me recently when I was trying on Essence products. And I used this. This is the Mad About Matte T-Zone Primer Stick. And it looks like a glue stick and you're like, cool. oh, oh, Ugh. right. Okay, well, 
this has happened before. I know we're having like flashbacks and you can say what you want to say, but I just didn't do anything for it to deserve falling out right now. Like this, I didn't even like pull it up all the way. But hello, that's not even a lot of product in there. I don't like this. I don't think it's worth money at all. I think there are better products from Essence, like, drum roll please, any of their mascaras. Honestly, most of their mascaras are fantastic. I am wearing a combo of these two today. I'm wearing the Volume Stylist Curl and Hold and the Volume Stylist Lash Extension. I like this one slightly more, but when you put them together, it's quite the dynamic duo. And they're around three to $4 a piece, so their mascaras are really great. Um, just not primers. I just haven't found a primer from them that I really enjoy. All right, taking a peek at Revlon. I so love the Candid Concealer. I'm really into this, you guys. I recently did a concealer try-on video, a new concealers at the drugstore where I showed you up close with my iPhone, kind of, you know, side to side, and you guys really like that, and it's really making me wanna make more videos like that. Um, so they're in the works. Like I'm thinking of how I could do it with like foundation or whatever. The shade Biscuit, it's so good on the face. It's so good and easy to blend in that even if you're going to the gym and you really want to fake like the no makeup makeup thing, you can do that with this concealer. It's really stunning. Go away. I put my phone on silent. I just like this so much. This is like something that I'm reaching for a ton. It's been a minute since I've been truly die hard for something from Revlon, which is weird because when I started out, Revlon was one of those brands that I kind of wanted everything from. And they kind of, you know, it's been like this, but I feel like they're coming back with some really solid launches and I'm all about it. I'm all about this candid concealer. What I don't like from Revlon, this is gonna be really random, but I don't like that they reformulated and repackaged their lip glosses. Back in the day, their lip glosses that came in a square tube, not a circular tube, were my favorites from the drugstore. They had one called Peach Petal that was just like the dreamiest, dreamiest. Do you wanna know how dreamy? I'm gonna show you how dreamy. This is my secret box. Not many people get to see this. Um, I'm, I'm going in it today on camera, so. Let's see what we have in here. Why is it not in here, oh my God. I'm highly disappointed. My peach petal gloss is not in here, I thought it was. I keep my very favorites from over the years, like even if they've expired, if they've been like a true favorite, I keep it. And that's what this whole box is. It's all discontinued makeup. And I just admire it like this from Flower. This needs to come back. I mean, I'm telling you guys, the tone of this is like the best ever. Holy crap, right? It makes everybody's eyes look a hundred times better and more magical and mesmerizing. And it's just like, does this to your eyes and you just, oh, you just look so pretty. And it is so old that I'm afraid to put it on my eyes. So I'll just swatch it and stare at my arm instead. And, I, and anytime I see anything come out that's like kind of close to this, I'm like, does it match? Because it was just like a particular sheen and tone and texture. Uh, nothing else I have ever found to compare to this. They need to bring this back. How random. I love going through here, oh my gosh. Uh, what happened to Sonia Kashuk makeup? Where did that go, right? That was good. They just have brushes now. Okay, I need to focus. All right, so where were we? We still have more to discuss. All right, Rimmel. Stay matte powders are so phenomenal. $5, it will get rid of shine. If you have oily skin, you can use this everywhere. If you have drier combo skin, you can use it as a touch-up just in the areas that are looking more oily and it will really keep oil from poking through and disrupting your makeup. They have a stay matte foundation that I think sits on the skin terribly and makes your skin look more bumpy and lumpy and textured and dry and I just do not like that one, nor do I recommend it. Uh, I also wanna share with you guys Physicians Formula. They make great bronzers. If you're looking for a good drugstore bronzer, I would highly recommend taking a look at the Butter Bronzer or the Bronze Booster. And I might suggest avoiding this new one. I tested it on camera recently and the yellow is a weird yellow. The pink is a weird pink. It just made me 
it, it, my skin just didn't look good. I had higher hopes for this because I really do enjoy Physicians Formula powders. Uh, they have a new organic wear line that I'm super curious about. I might do a video on that soon. So make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, let me know if you wanna see that. Oh my gosh, when I was like kind of like saying like, Essence, you suck, did I tell you the good one? Because it's sitting right here. The Essence Brighten Up Powder. This is a banana powder. It's again, kind of similar to the uh, CoverGirl in the way that it will brighten. But it's very, very, I'm not flicking you off, I promise. Very finely, finely milled and looks beautiful. Just kind of in those darker areas that you might want to brighten up on the skin. And drugstore newscaster session is over. That is kind of the hit list and the not hit list rhymes with hit isn't hit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave me comments, share the video. Make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'm sending you all good vibes and a happy day. Go have a good one and I will see you guys in my next video. I think I said that twice. Whatever, I'm out of here. Mwah.